anybody who does the same thing over and over again and wants to get different results you might be crazy you actually might be crazy hey loves welcome back again to my youtube channel it's been a while since i last filmed but today we're going to film it so today's video i'm going to be telling you top five lessons that i learned with entrepreneurship would be number one just start because if you keep waiting till everything is perfect till everything is great till you have it all figured out together you might never start like you actually might never start number two lesson that i learned is you have to persevere but then you also have to know when to iterate iterate in the sense of take a step back look at what you've done see what is not working and change again you cannot see that this is your business plan this is your business structure and you're working only in that path and you can see that that path is not succeeding but because you've told yourself that it's your business plan and your business structure you keep on doing the same thing over and over again anybody who does the same thing over and over again and wants to get different results you might be crazy you actually might be crazy the third thing that i learned while running this business is the importance of building networks building relationships because in my first year lots of the customers that i even sold to because i was not nobody knew that i owned that when it operated like that so i would just introduce them to this and they were like oh it's cool nice and everything so these are people that i had met both at my work where i was interning and at all the other internships that i've done in the past so I already had this network that I just had to bring my solution to. Another thing was that I created a unique selling point. So we know that a lot of African women, the problem we have with jeans is when you buy a pair of jeans and they're your size and they fit your hip and your bum, there's still space in the waist. It is very hardly that an African woman would buy a pair of jeans and the jeans are like fitted on her waist and fitted on her hip at the same time i mean yeah there are brands who are trying to do that now but that was like the problem as in that time so what i used to do was when someone would make an order from me i would be like oh what's your waist size what's your hip size and i would take it to like a tailor and reconstruct the jeans to fit you right so that's what I was doing. So I found like a niche. Um, I found like a selling point that was my value. And I kept doing that. I'm, you know, paying attention to it and focusing on it. The fourth thing that I learned is you have to be ready to put in the work. Which is unfortunate because a lot of people in our generation, like, they don't want to do the hard grunting work to be able to get the result they're looking for the result but they're not willing to put in the work but you need to be really willing to put in the work because then it was really tough for me i was working during my it scene and it wasn't just like an anyhow job i was working like i was a full staff so there were times i had to like keep late nights to finish up my work there are times where i would have to like take time off during work to respond to like people's messages and stuff there were times where i had to wake up earlier so that i could pack orders up and ship and like the fifth thing is you can do anything that you put your mind to like you really can do anything that you put your mind to and do not be afraid to ask for the support of people that are around you because when i started in the beginning i was living with one of my best girls and she was just really supportive she was always there i would always be like oh here's what i'm thinking here's what i want to try she'd be like oh you should try this or don't do let's do it like this or like that and that really helped me feel like what i was doing was good do you know the funniest part was that i kept on going until she asked me a question she was like how much would you say that you've made this year and i actually took a step back and like i was like okay well this thing is actually great i didn't even realize that it was doing that because i wasn't paying attention to that another thing i learned is the importance of structures systems and processes structure systems and processes doesn't mean that you become so rigid that you have no room for change no but in the sense that because you know that there is a part of work in your business that needs to be done over and over and over again so you create a system that works so anytime you're faced with that task you just have to do a replication of what you did before and then modify it to fit into this new thing you're trying to do so these are my top five lessons for you for me starting to be a business owner and my, the first year of my business journey and all of that i closed down 
helped my business for a while because like I just couldn't keep up there was so much you know there's also this thing about knowing what you should be doing in your season focusing on what needs to be focused on per time and also knowing when it's time to create something that exists outside of you because then if I had something that existed outside of me even while I was dealing with all the other things I was dealing with my business could have kept running but that wasn't happening because my business didn't exist outside of me so there you have it I hope that you found these tips helpful if there's anything that's really striking or anything that I did not mention that you feel like is a lesson that small medium enterprise entrepreneurs who are just starting out should really really know don't forget to leave in the comment box and don't forget to like share subscribe welcome to the community see you in my next video and don't forget to watch my last video ciao